I am uh, here in the Human Computer Interaction Laboratory at the University of Manitoba, and I'm here to tell you about a great new project we've developed. It's called See Me, See You. Now, what it is is a tabletop system that can differentiate the touches of different users. So, the great thing about a tabletop is that it's a good tool for collaboration because you have this great big display that's flat on the top of the table. Two people can see it at the same time and they can interact with the same content. Now the problem with this is that the computer uh, really can't tell two people apart. With our system what we've done is we've used the uh, vision and camera systems that are built into the tabletop already to recognize a person's uh, finger orientation on the table surface. So when I touch the table, the computer sees the direction of my finger and it says, aha, this touch must be coming from a person standing over in this location, and this other touch might be, must be standing in a, another location over here. Now what's great about that is now the computer can start to separate content between these two people. So if I'm doing one thing and you're doing another thing, we can work together without interfering with one another's actions. So this is a multi-touch uh tabletop system with a pain application. It supports multiple users interacting with it without interfering each other. So Hina and I can just draw with our own colors without affecting each other. In our opinion, uh, multi-user capabilities will be the next big challenge for having in multi-user systems like tabletops and wall displays. Uh, without multi-user capabilities, you can't be able to extract the full potential that these systems have to afford you. So for example, if you're sitting in a boardroom where you have a number of architects trying to decide on the best floor plan, without each person having a set of tools and pallets that belong to them, you won't be able to tell the system how to understand the input that's coming from users. Uh, for example, to a larger extent or greater extent, you notice many applications being demonstrated today that usually rely on photo sharing, photo browsing systems, but that don't really demonstrate the full potential of what you can do when you can recognize multiple, system, multiple users. So in our view, having multi-user capability means going to the extent of being able to detect who is doing what on a system. And uh, as I said earlier, this is probably one of the bigger challenges in being able to afford natural, seamless, and integrative action uh, with multiple users around a collaborative system like a tabletop.